Hi, I'm Nicole and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making a three course meal inspired by Twilight, both the book and the movie. With Valentine's Day around the corner, I thought it would be fun to make this meal based off of one of my favorite romance novels, you could call it. So let's get cooking. Hello, voiceover Nicole here to take you through the process of making this dish. Just a side note, all of these dishes will be vegetarian just like the Cullens. The recipes will be down in the description below. Now let's get cooking. First, we're going to start off by making an appetizer. Bella eats a lot of salads in the movie, so we're going to be making a kale salad with apple and raspberries. I started by chopping up my apple and placed it into a large bowl. I then went ahead and mashed up my raspberries for the bloody component of this salad, and then added the raspberries to my salad bowl. I then attempted to open up my bag of salad and caused a big explosion, just like Rosalie who crushed that bowl of salad in her hands. Anyways, after contemplating my life choices, I added in all the salad toppings and dressings that came with the kit. I tossed the salad together until everything was well combined. It's a Bella. Now onto our main course. I am making a mushroom ravioli just like what Bella eats at the Italian restaurant with Edward in Port Angeles. I begin by soaking some shiitake mushrooms in warm water for about five minutes. This step is optional, but these give a lot of mushroomy flavor to a dish. I then diced up one large onion. And then I chopped up a whole lot of mushrooms. Bella did say that quote, the mushrooms were good. So I assume there are a lot of mushrooms in the dish. I also chopped up the shiitake mushrooms too and added them to the pile. And before I started making the sauce, I began boiling some water for the ravioli. To start the sauce, I poured some vegetable oil in a skillet over medium heat and swirled it around. Then I put the onions in the pan along with some seasoning salt and let those get nice and brown. I then added in my pile of mushrooms. I put a bit more seasoning salt and let that all cook together. Then I tossed on my lid to let everything get nice and steamy. And while that cooked down, it was time to get started on the mixed berry cobbler for dessert. I started by preheating my oven to 350 degrees. I put about two cups of thawed frozen berries into a large mixing bowl. Then I added in some cornstarch. I followed that with some coconut sugar that would not come out of the container, so I got a spoon involved. You can use regular sugar if you want. And I poured in a healthy amount of vanilla and a nice sprinkle of cinnamon. As I was mixing up the berries, I realized that maybe I used a bit too much cornstarch, so I added in about another cup of berries. I mixed it up some more and then remembered I wanted to add in some lemon juice, so I added in the juice of a lemon and stirred it together. I put aside the berry mixture while I made the cobbler topping. In a bowl, I put in half a cup of unsalted cold butter, added in a bit of vanilla, some coconut sugar, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. I then took a fork and mashed it all together. I wish I had a pastry cutter, but I made do with this fork. Once I got it to the consistency I wanted, I added in a cup of flour and then two eggs. I started to mix it all together when I remembered I forgot the baking powder, so I went and added about a teaspoon of that in too. And then I continued to mix it all with the fork. I'm not sure why I continued to use that fork, but I eventually switched to a spatula. With the two components of the cobbler ready, I got out six ramekins, which I greased off camera with some butter. Into each ramekin, I placed an equal amount of the berry mixture, trying not to include any extra liquid. And whoops, I had another accident there. I then topped off each of the ramekins with a nice portion of dough topping. And then the cobblers went into the oven for about 30 minutes. Now back to the ravioli dish. It was time to start cooking our ravioli while I finish off the sauce. I just followed the directions on the package to cook the ravioli. To finish off the sauce, I added in some butter to the pan with the mushroom mixture and let that melt in while stirring it. I then sprinkled in some flour and mixed that in until the flour was no longer visible. I gradually poured in about two cups of milk, stirring the mixture as I went along. Once the sauce began to thicken, I let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And we have a beautiful mushroom sauce. Now I could start plating the meal, starting with the ravioli. After straining the ravioli, I plated it using my hands because why would I be smart and use tongs? And then I poured a bit of the sauce on top. If you want, you could also just toss the ravioli in with the sauce and mix it all together before serving. And there you go, a lovely plate of mouth-watering mushroom ravioli. Plating the salad was pretty simple. I gave it a quick toss and put some into a bowl. She's stunning. I then took the cobblers out of the oven and let those cool for a bit before serving. Once they were cool enough to handle, 
I put one on a plate and topped it off with a generous scoop of vanilla ice cream. Gorgeous. And there you have it, a meal inspired by Twilight. A salad, mushroom ravioli, and a mixed berry cobbler. Now it's time for the taste test. I started off with the salad. It's pretty good. As for the mushroom ravioli, I don't know how Bella ate this in front of Edward and still managed to look cute. Anyways, like Bella, the mushrooms were good. And now for the cobbler. Mmm, look at that bite. This was so amazing. I couldn't stop eating it and went back for more bites. It's so good. If you make any of these dishes, feel free to tag me on Instagram at Time with Nicole. Now back to on camera Nicole to wrap up this video. And that's all for me for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's my first kind of full length cooking video, so I hope you enjoyed it. I was really excited to make this meal because I'm a really big Twilight fan, so this was a real treat for me, especially to make it kind of like a nice dinner for Valentine's Day. If you like this video, I would love it if you could leave me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to make more meals based off of fiction in the future. And if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for spending some time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!